All right, now we're going to cover uh, multiplying polynomials. I wanted to have this just be one um, video so that you can concentrate on it. This is where you're going to spend most of your time uh, in this algebra class is in multiplying polynomials or being able to factor polynomials. So this is an important aspect of this class. So when you're multiplying polynomials, I'm going to start with multiplying a monomial times a binomial. A monomial, one term, times a two-term polynomial, a binomial. So this is just distributive property. That's all you're doing. You're just distributing. What we're adding in is our exponent rules. So if you aren't clear on exponent rules, make sure you watch that video on exponents. So it's when you multiply, you add the exponent. When you multiply with exponents, you add the exponents. So you go through and you multiply whole number by whole number. So 2 times 4 is 8. And then I have x cubed times x squared. So this, the base stays the same, and then I add my exponent. 3 plus 2 is 5. And then I come back out here, and I multiply my 2x cubed times my negative 1, and I get a negative 2x cubed. Okay? So it's just the distributive property. If I do a binomial times a binomial, Okay, binomial times a binomial. Now notice there's nothing in between the set of parentheses. There's no plus or minus. That shows multiplication. If there's a plus or a minus sign in between parentheses, then you're going to add or subtract based off of um, what you're given. So with this, I'm multiplying. So some of you may remember this as FOIL. So you're going to multiply the first 2x squared times x. Then you're going to multiply the outside. 2x squared times negative 3. Then you're going to multiply the inside, 1 times x. And then you're going to multiply the last two, 1 times negative 3. Now, this works when you're multiplying a binomial times a binomial. If you're multiplying a binomial times a trinomial, this does not work. So what I want you to see is that it's just the distributive property. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 2x squared and I'm going to multiply it by the x. So I get 2x cubed. Okay, so remember, if there's no exponent, it's an assumed 1. So 2 plus 1 gives me 3. Then I'm going to multiply the first times the last. So do you see that's where the outside comes in? But I'm taking the first term and I'm multiplying it by both pieces in the second set of parentheses. So 2x squared times negative 3 is a negative 6x squared. Then I'm going to multiply the 1 times the x, so I get plus x. And then I'm going to multiply the 1 times the negative 3, I get negative 3. Okay? So now you can see this is all in descending order. Descending order means my exponent is in descending order. 3, 2, 1, and then nothing. Okay, so that's multiplying a binomial by a binomial. Now we're going to multiply a binomial times a trinomial. Okay, binomial times a trinomial. So again, it's just the distributive property. I'm going to take my x and multiply it by x squared. Then I'm going to take my x and multiply it by the 2. Then I'm going to take my x and multiply it by the negative 1. Okay. Now I'm going to take my negative 4 and multiply it by my x squared. Now this technique that I'm showing you right now, just line up your like terms. When you have a bunch of polynomials that you're multiplying, sometimes it's easier to organize it a little bit um, cleaner. So negative 4 times x squared is a negative 4x squared. I'm just lining up my like terms. And then negative 4 times 2x is a negative 8x. Again, lining up my x's. And then negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. Now I can add everything. Nothing to add the x cubed to. 
2x squared minus 4x is a negative 2x squared. Negative 1 and a negative 8 is negative 9x, and then plus 4. And I'm done. That's it. All right, so there's a couple specialty ones that I want to show you. So um, whenever you're multiplying or you're squaring a binomial, so here's what I mean by that. If I have x minus 3 and the whole thing squared, right? This is a binomial squared. Well, what this actually means is x minus 3 times x minus 3. Remember what the exponent says is take your base and repeat the multiplication. So now you can see you're right back to uh, multiplying a binomial by a binomial. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. And then I'm going to add my like terms. So I have x squared minus 6x plus 9. So remember, um, when we talk about math, it's always a pattern. There's always a pattern that you can come up with. So x plus 5 squared means x plus 5 times x plus 5. I'm going to use my distributive. So x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 5 is 25. So I'm going to add my like terms again, and I get x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now, what I want to show you is there's a shortcut to this. When you see a binomial squared, there's a pattern. If you look at this, this is the first term squared. Okay? First term squared. This number is the last term squared. Negative 3 times negative 3. This middle number is negative 3 times x doubled. Where does the doubling come from? Right here. Negative 3x doubled is negative 6x. Same thing here. This is x squared, so x times x. This is 5 times 5 is 25. This middle term is 5 times x doubled. So 5x times 2 gives me 10x. So if you see that pattern, multiplying binomials or squaring binomials is actually very easy. You can do it in one step. Let me show you. So I have x minus 4 squared. So using that technique, square the first one, square the last one, multiply, you get negative 4x, and then double it, negative 8x. And that's it. Let me show you one more time. Square the first one. Square the last one. That's a positive. Multiply 6 times x. You get 6x. Doubled is 12x. And there it is. That's it. Now, if you don't trust me, multiply this out. x plus 6 times x plus 6. x minus 4 times x minus 4 and you will get these two answers every time. That's multiplying polynomials.